captain's log. Stardate, uh, two. We have taken the static Klingons prisoner aboard the second prize. Mr. Weirdo has set our coordinates for the nearest starbase, where the Klingons will stand trial. We should arrive there in exactly 1.732. Skip it, Mr. Weirdo. I'm sure we'll get there soon enough. <laughs> oh, Captain Kirkman, could I speak to you privately? Be careful, Captain. Static Klingons are very dangerous. Captain Kirkman, do I look dangerous? No, not exactly, but whatever you have to say can be said in front of the whole crew. Very well. How about we ditch these guys, grab some lunar pizza, maybe take in a movie at the local Galaxy 6? I, uh, I'm afraid that's against Federation rules. Throw in a kiss of Rudy for your Vulcan dreamboat here, and uh, you got yourself a date. What? I'm warning you, weirdo. Don't come any closer or you're gonna get a shock. Nothing you do could ever shock me, my little Klingon cauliflower. <laughs> However, that came close. Real? Oh. Hey! I can't see! Whoa! What's happening, Dr. Dogbones? Well, Captain Kirkman, I'd say Mr. Weirdo there has a bad case of... <laughs> Static Kling. Huh? You know, like socks in the dryer, everything clings to them. Hey, you Starfleet guys really stick together. Yeah, yeah. Bozzy, stop fooling around. Get a tickle finger and guard them. Uh, yes, sir, Commander, sir. Uh, Ma'am, uh, Sam. And as for you, Mr. Vulcan Dreamboat, set course for the planet Klingon and make it snappy. Anything you say, my Klingon cutie pie. anymore, then how come it's still so hot? Yeah! yeah. Ho -ho. Maybe the nursery is broken off from the house and turned into a real spaceship. Huh? What if Gus is right and we're about to crash into the sun? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, we'll burn up and disintegrate before we ever get that far. Huh? Well, there's one sure way to find out. Open the door. This is silly. Oh, what a relief! 
Wow, Nanny, you really surprised us. I didn't mean to, Rolf. I just wanted to tell you that we're having a heat wave. And wouldn't you know it, the air conditioner broke down. Heat wave? You mean we're not going to crash into the sun? No, of course not, Piggy. Whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> well, nitwit. Now, you kids take it easy until the air conditioner's fixed. I'll make some lemonade for you later, okay? Okay, Nanny. Nanny said to take it easy, so let's play checkers. Okay, but what if we get bored? Get it? Checkers? Bored? Waka waka. Fine. And what are you doing, Scooter? I'm playing Charlie. Charlie? Uh-huh. It reminded me of a movie I watched once with Nanny called The African Queen. There was this guy in it named Charlie, see? Did you say movie about a queen? You couldn't have a movie about a queen without more, could you? Well, uh, come to think of it, there was a lady in the picture, too. Oh, Kenny! supposed to be? The African Queen, of course. Uh, Piggy. And I'll be waited on. I might be bonus service. But Piggy. And they'll keep me nice and cool. Ah! Me, Tarzana, Queen of the Jungle. Wrong. It's Tarzan, king of the jungle. It is? See? I'm the African queen. And the African queen is a boat. A what? A boat? Well, then Piggy will be just perfect. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah! Excuse me, Scooter, but I must have heard you wrong. Did you say boat? Yeah. like a queen. Well, I don't look much like a captain either. Good point. Listen, Piggy. The queen and I are going down the river. We're going to find a cool spot to wait out this heat. Now you can come or you can stay. It's up to you. Oh, well, since you ask so nicely. I suppose it beats walking. Or swinging around like a monkey. But not by much. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, miss. No, oh, brother. What's that noise? There's a problem. Well, I wouldn't do that, Pete. Uh, miss, you might tear the hole. This motor is 
imagine anything like my computer. Maybe I should go help Piggy. <sighs> On second thought, maybe not.
guess. Great! <laughs> Okay, make 
Sure. 